Good morning everyone. Welcome back to exam notes 365. Hope you all are good and safe. In this video, we are going to discuss about the current affairs of 31st January 2023. Do watch the video till the end. We will ask you a question at the end of this video. Please type your answer in comment section. Let's begin the session. The Rashtrapati Bhavan's Mughal Garden was renamed as Amrit Udyan. The iconic Mughal Gardens at the Rashtrapati Bhavan in Delhi have been renamed. The collective identity of all gardens at the Rashtrapati Bhavan will be Amrit Udyan. Which country has won the women's under-19 T20 World Cup title? India. India defeated England by 7 wickets in the ICC Women's Under-19 T20 World Cup Final. The final match held at J.P. Marks Oval in Pochopstrup, South Africa. The Indian team clinched the nation's first ICC title in women's cricket. Let's talk about ICC. The International Cricket Council is the global governing body of cricket. It founded on 15th June 1909. Where is the headquarters of ICC? Dubai, UAE. Who is the chairman of ICC? Mr. Greg Barclay. Who is the CEO of ICC? Mr. Jeff Aladis. Which country won the Men's Hockey World Cup 2023 title? The answer is Germany. Germany won their third title after defeating Belgium in the final after penalties. The Netherlands captured the bronze medal by winning against Australia. The 2023 Men's FIH Hockey World Cup was the 15th edition of the Men's FIH Hockey World Cup. It was organized by the International Hockey Federation. It was held at the Kalinga Stadium in Bhubaneswar and Birsamunda International Hockey Stadium in Rorkale, India from 13 to 29 January 2023. Which Indian woman cricketer has been selected as the brand ambassador of Puma? Harman Preet Kaur. Sports brand Puma India has onboarded Indian women's cricket team captain Harman Preet Kaur as its new brand ambassador. With this, Harman Preet Kaur joins Puma's roster of ambassadors such as Virat Kohli, KL Rahul, Karina Kapoor Khan, Yuraj Singh, Sunil Chedri, and recently Handi Sandhu and Anushka Sharma. Saba Karosi who arrived in India for a three-day visit is the president of which international organization? UNGA, United Nations General Assembly. The president of the 77th session of the United Nations General Assembly, Saba Karosi, arrived in New Delhi on a three-day visit. This is his first bilateral visit to any country since he assumed UNGA presidency in September last year. Let's talk about UNGA. The United Nations General Assembly, UNGA, is one of the six principal organs of the United Nations, serving as the main deliberative policy making and representative organ of the United Nations. It formed in 1945. Where is the headquarters of UNGA? New York City. Who is the president of UNGA? Mr. Saba Karozi. Hein Schumacher has been appointed as the CEO of which company? Unilever. Consumer Goods and Unilever has been appointed Hein Schumacher as the CEO of the company. He will replace Alan Job. Unilever is a British multinational consumer goods company with headquarters in London, England. Hindustan Unilever is a subsidiary company of Unilever.
As per the AASHE 2020-2021 report, which state has the highest number of colleges in India? Uttar Pradesh Uttar Pradesh has the highest number of colleges in the country, followed by Maharashtra and Karnataka. According to the government's All India Survey for Higher Education AASHE 2020-2021 report, the survey report was released by the Ministry of Education, who is the Minister of Education, India, Mr. Dharmendra Pradhan. Martes Day observed on January 30. Martes Day, also known as Shahitivas, is observed in India on January 30 to commemorate the assassination of Mahatma Gandhi in 1948. On this day, the entire country pays tribute to all the heroes of the Indian freedom struggle who sacrificed their lives for the nation. The nation paid homage to father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, on his 75th death anniversary. Napa Kishortas, who passed away, was the health minister of which state? Odisha. He was the health minister of Odisha. Odisha health minister Napa Kishortas succumbed to his injuries after he was shot by a policeman during an event in Jar Sugda district. Jepna passed away. She was a she was an actress and politician. So answer to the question is both A and B. Veteran film actress and former Lok Sabha MP from Rajmundry, Jemuna passed away. She was a contemporary to eminent and popular actors N.T. Damarao and Nageshu Rao and acted in about 200 films in Telugu, Tamil, Kannada and Hindi. She won the Lok Sabha from Tachimundri in 1989. She was identified with her role in Satyavama and became a household name for the mythological character. Let's check previous day question and answer. Which Indian American has been nominated for appointment to the grade of US Air Force Brigadier General? The answer is Mr. Rajachari, Indian American astronaut, Rajachari has been nominated by President Joe Biden for the appointment to the grade of Air Force Brigadier General. The nomination will have to be confirmed by the Senate. The U.S. Senate approves all senior civilian and military appointments. He is currently serving as the Crew 3 Commander and astronaut at the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Johnson Space Center, Texas. Let's check today's question. Which organization launched the Nidhi Apke Nikat program? Please type your answer in comment section. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and you have received some important points. How was the video? If you find this helpful, Please like the video and subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. To get daily current affairs notes, please subscribe to our channel. See you tomorrow. Bye. Take care.